Hey Shutterbugs, hope you're all well. Today I am doing a highly requested video that you have all asked me for and that is what affordable items are in my camera bag. I find learning about other people's equipment so beneficial because not only can you get personal opinions on gear that you may want to add to your collection, it's also a great networking tip. For example, I could be on a sports shoot, there could be a few other photographers there, a great conversation starter is, oh, what camera body are you using today? The conversation will start flowing and you never know what door that you have just opened, they could know a really great contact with an amazing opportunity and ta-da, that's kick-started your career. But anyway, shall we crack on? So I'm going to start off with the most expensive item, which is my current camera body. I have the Canon 6D Mark II. It is a beautiful camera. So it's a full frame professional camera and it's much more affordable than the 5D Mark 1, 2 and 3 which people seem to rave about. So I'm going to run through a few features that I find incredibly beneficial about having this camera. It records full HD video. Now this is great if, for example, I'm a media student, so I do film as well as photography. I can use one body for everything I need, which is just amazing. I film promotional content on this camera for Southampton Pride, um, Team Solent Badminton. So it goes to show that you don't need a huge film camera just to create awesome content, because this bad boy does it. Another great feature about the camera is that it does have a flip screen at the back. This is great if you are wanting to do, for example, um, nature shots, where obviously the flowers are on the ground, you can have the camera pointing down, but if you face this up, and that saves you trying to look through the viewfinder, and trying to focus it and everything like that. So yeah, having this flip screen is really beneficial. And the flip screen leads me onto my final point. The camera offers live view. Um, so what I really like to use is the touchscreen feature. I personally look for something like this in a camera because as you know focusing can be quite tricky trying to make sure the right point is in focus by literally just tapping it on the screen let's say I want the left side of the image focused I will tap that and the camera will focus onto that part of the picture and there you go it takes your photo for you simple as that so yeah all the features I've mentioned are perfect for nature photography landscape photography portraits sports you name it this baby can do it. It is beautiful and I 10 out of 10 would recommend it. It may sound expensive, I did get mine from the London Camera Exchange secondhand for roughly about £900. So the best price that I can actually find at the moment is £1,350 brand new. It just goes to show that I have saved £400 just by getting a secondhand camera. However, if that is a little bit pricey for you, they do offer this amazing trade-in scheme. For example, you can take in your old equipment that you no longer want, they value it at a price and they then take that price off of your purchase. So the best price that I could find you guys for this body secondhand is on mbp.com and that is at £900. That is actually such a steal, I can't lie to you guys. So the next camera I'm going to talk to you guys about is the Canon 450D. I don't actually have it on me, but it's the very first camera that I ever owned. It is the perfect camera for people who are wanting to have that step up from maybe shooting on their phone or on their compact camera and it will make your photos just look that little bit more slicker rather than using your phone or your compact camera. So it actually does offer some of the same features, for example it has live view and it also shoots up to 3.5 frames per second which means it is a great start off camera even for sports and action photography. The body alone costs roughly 100 quid which is amazing, isn't it not? So I've seen the Canon 450D for roughly 80 pounds, um, that is secondhand and used, but I've also seen it for roughly 200 brand new. So as I've said, this is a great camera to get you into the industry or just do your hobby in an affordable way. So my go-to lens when I'm shooting on my camera is the Canon 50mm fixed f1.8 lens. The focal length of 50mm is equivalent to what we see with the human eye, so it's a great lens for everyday use. So in case you don't know what a fixed lens is, a fixed lens means you can't zoom on the lens, so you are stuck at that focal point. It might put a lot of people off, but having a fixed lens means that you can have a really low aperture. Now I'm going to do another video soon about apertures and shallow depth of fields, um, but just as a brief overview, it's basically if this camera that's filming me right now had a shallow depth of field, I would be in focus, 
and everything around me would be out of focus. This is why this lens is so good because it's great for nature, it's great for portraits and it's great for sport as well. The great thing about this lens as well is that it is super cheap to pick up. The London Camera Exchange offer it between 50 and 60 pounds second hand which is amazing for a lens, I cannot stress that enough to you guys. However if you are looking at getting a brand new one it's still so cheap at 80 to about 120 quid so definitely 100% recommend getting this lens. So the final lens that I'm going to show you is the Canon ultrasonic 70 to 300 millimeter lens. This lens is a great alternative to long focal length expensive lenses. This lens is amazing and not just for sports photography. I have used this for so many shoots where my subject is really far away and I need to zoom in to see them. It also has a fairly low aperture of f.4 which is great if you still want to get that shallow depth of field. I would recommend this lens to anyone wanting to add another lens to their collection but also to people who want to experiment with sports or action photography but don't have that cash to splash. This lens you can pick up anywhere between 180 and 300 pounds depending on its condition whether it's new or whether it is second hand but I promise you this will be a great asset to your collection. So I hope this video was really beneficial for you guys to get an insight into different equipment that still do an amazing job at an affordable price. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to make sure you see more content like this. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions about any of these products and let me know as well what other types of gear reviews you would like to see. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!